Hi you guys, welcome to another vlog. So I actually just wanted to give you like a little bit of a living room and a couple of other rooms update today. So yeah, just thought I'd fill you in on where things are at currently and what is new in my home and we could just have a little bit of a catch up because I have been up to a lot of stuff which you may have seen on my Instagram stories and all of that stuff. You guys already know I'm always up to things, so I'm going to show you a couple of new things and some ideas, but I also think I'm going to do a bit of spraying and DIYing of some stuff, because you guys, not only do I have gold spray paint now, I also have black, so I've actually been like walking around my flat thinking, okay, what can I spray black, what can I spray black? It is honestly becoming a real obsession. Just, I just love being able to like transform things so easily. I absolutely love a good DIY. I don't believe in buying a whole new thing. Just, just spray it. Just spray the curtain rail, spray the, the lamp, spray the vase, and it's something new. <laughs> oh my God, I thought I had just stood on Richie, but he is not by my foot. So anyway, you guys, I wanna kinda show you some of the updates in the living room, and then we'll just see what else we get up to today. How about that? If you are familiar with my room, you would actually realize that there are some new things in here, like art on both sides of the window, which I am so excited about, you guys. So, of course, they are from Desenio. I work with Desenio so much, you guys. I am obsessed with them. I went for these for in here. Now, I always knew I wanted to do black and white, like get some more black in here, because obviously you guys know I have a couple of black accents. We can start with this art piece because I just think it works so, so, so beautifully in this corner. So everything is gonna be linked down below as well, you guys, so you can actually shop these exact pieces that I'm gonna show you. This one's quite minimal. This is the 30 by 40. I think or is it the 40 by 50 I cannot remember because when I was going through them the amount of times I had to like rejig my basket because I just fell in love with so much stuff in different sizes um so yeah I went for the black frame just to add that black contrasting pop to this area because obviously you've got the gold lamp and the gold um curtain pole that I did spray and the gold pullback as well curtain holder that I also spray this side on the other hand, I went for a similar piece, um, but with a bit more detail. I wanted this area to have a little bit more going on. Um, and so I went for a black frame for this one as well, slightly smaller shade size. This is a 30 by 40, yes. And the other one is a 40 by 50. And then I went for this 30 by 20 um, on top. And I just, I just love it. I love the monochrome vibe with the gold. And if I had it my way, I would have like more of these all over my hallways, but it would just probably look too much. So I also have this plant here, which I think works beautifully with the colors, but I'm not sure on this plant. I may end up moving this to another room or out to the balcony. When I reveal the balcony to you guys, you'll be amazed at the transformation. Um, but I'm thinking about getting just a slight different plant, maybe like thicker leaves and a bit taller so that it kind of creeps up the wall against the art. I just think that will work a lot better. So yeah, that's just some of my ideas. So anyway, let me get back onto the Desenio art because I did not just get these three. No, 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 no. I actually got quite a lot more and they're in my bedroom being hidden away because I'm yet to decide what I'm doing with them. So let me take you over there. So I'm in my bedroom, you guys, which you probably haven't seen for a while. Um, it's currently under construction. It is not done it's actually a bit empty right now but it's not about the bedroom i want to show you guys this art over here and yeah i think you guys are going to get a bit more of an idea in terms of what i'm actually trying to do in this room I've got the art hidden behind this chair which i'm actually planning to sell um which is going to be quite sad but you know oops so something's dropped but it's okay it's fine Yep, no smashes. That's what I love about Desenio's um, pieces. The quality is really, really good. And it's super affordable, you guys. And I mean, look at all these options. So let's get into it. I obviously, in jade fashion, had to get some dried plant stuff going on. So I have these three all in the same size you guys um and they're all like dried plants and just really really beautiful stuff i have this which is probably like my favorite combination black and white with some gold love it went for that and then i also went for this this beauty 
it's just stunning and then the one behind it is actually not new i've had this for a, about two years or a year at least um and i thought this could also work in here as well so the hallway wall is empty now because i took the ornate mirror down which you guys know and i sprayed it gold and now it's in the living room behind the sofa so it's empty so i'm thinking for the meantime while this room's still happening to just put like one or two pieces of art on that wall and then it could just have a bit of character for the meantime until i decide what i'm actually going to be doing so I need to decide which pieces to stick on there. So I'm thinking about adding more art on this wall and just having it really statement. As you can see, there's Richie. He's like, why are you invading my sleeping space? <laughs> um, but this is where he sleeps. This is his bed. It's just outside my bedroom and my wardrobe and office over there. So yeah, this looks very, very sad, but the art is gorgeous nonetheless, and so I just don't want to hide it anymore. So as I said, you guys, I am like the biggest advocate of Desenio. I just think it's amazing because there's something for everyone. You guys have seen me transform my home from loving silver and white and gray to now loving gold and blacks and neutral colors. And there honestly is something for everyone. Like. I have their art everywhere for a reason. <laughs> so I know that loads of you guys are actually doing updates in your homes. I am the same. There's something about the heat and sunshine and summer that honestly makes you just want to revamp things, like refresh everything, switch up the vibes and add some detail. So you will be pleased to know that I have a Desenio discount code for you. Woo! Um, so it's Jade Van 30 for 30% 30 off. It does not include the frames and the hand-picked or personalized prints though, but everything else, like the pieces that I've shown you, are available for that huge discount. You've got two days to purchase using my code. You guys always come to me afterwards asking me for another discount code, which is not gonna happen. So utilize those two days, you guys. And yeah, you guys have seen the art in my home and you know what I love is that it makes such a big difference to any empty space empty wall I think I need a bit more but we'll see once that bedroom's done we'll see how I put those up on the wall but yeah I was originally going to do a collage but I might have to change that I may end up just putting some within the panels um we shall see <laughs> so this is a black spray that I recently purchased haven't actually sprayed anything yet so I'm itching to spray something so I think I'm gonna go with this candle holder that I got from Dunelm maybe four years ago now it was a Christmas gift from Dunelm I've loved it I've had it as like a dining table sort of centerpiece for years with little tea lights in the top but now I feel like there could be a space for this somewhere in the living room possibly on where you guys are right now on the window ledge I think it could work really nicely there so I think if this was black with like really cute tea lights. Yeah, I think it could be nice. I've been debating as to whether to spray this beautiful mirror here, which is white, um, just because it is gorgeous. There is nothing wrong with having white things. There's a white wall behind it, it reflects a white wall <laughs> there are white curtains next to it and there's a white tv stand so it just kind of blends in with the wall now for some people that is really nice what's wrong with that but for me and doing what i do i like taking pictures here i like a good statement and i like a bit of contrast in this room i am debating whether to spray this mirror black i will link it down below as well for you because i know someone's gonna ask because it is such a gorgeous gorgeous ornate detailed mirror for a really good price so let's go on pinterest together and look at some black mirrors in a white room and see what that looks like okay you guys so i am on pinterest now is my brightness up and now i can just show you guys this is what i always do every time i'm thinking about something i like to kind of get an idea of what it could look like against a white wall or whatever it is i'm going for so i'm going to open this image i open like quite a lot of images um, on my pinterest account if you're not following me follow me because i've actually started to post on there and i love me some pinterest so so yeah i really love these like crittle style mirrors i'm really tempted to get one 
for my hallway but I'm also deciding whether I should stick to waiting for those things for my new house so rather than doing too much new stuff here I'm wondering whether it makes more sense to actually wait <laughs> anyway okay I think I've got a good amount of pictures and I think I'm liking the way this is actually looking so oh another one so yeah as you can see Pinterest really does suck me in and it's so easy to like get into a tunnel like opening one image and then scrolling and seeing more and more and more and more and more like oh anyway okay so let's open some of the ones that I have opened on the side this looks really really nice you guys and there's like what looks to be like a TV area here as well so quite similar to the area that I'm gonna have mine in and another image here is a hallway, super white hallway with a black mirror on the wall. Love that. And this image, I feel, is kind of solidifying it for me. It's the same um, home as the previous image, but a better view. So you can see that it's next to the TV stand. Um, and TV, the TV stand is white, really similar to one I have, actually. Um, and I like the way it looks. You see how the black TV and the black mirror kind of complement each other around all of that white? I feel like I'm leaning towards making it black right now. Okay, that's the closest in terms of style, but it's a slightly thicker one. In a room with paneling. This is just stunning. <laughs> Did you see how much I love interiors, you guys? So I think I'm gonna do it. And if I regret it, you guys, I'm just gonna paint it white. I've got loads of wall paint that is white and I can just spray it gold, the same color as this one. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask my mum what she thinks as well because sometimes my mum talks me out of crazy decisions. So I'm not gonna do it now, but in the next video, you will be able to see whether I do it or not, you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys did like this vlog. Just a nice, short and sweet update of some of the things going on in my living room and my home. Um, I think I'm gonna do these more often, actually. They don't always have to be long vlogs. They could just be a couple of updates because I know many of you guys are really interested in, you know, how to add little splashes of pops and um, art and things like that in your home to just refresh a space so hopefully this helps you when it comes to like refreshing a little reading corner and all that good stuff make sure you use that discount code so i'll see you guys in my next video where i'm sure there's going to be so many more updates to share with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>